Welcome to our Tech Explainer video. Today, we're tackling a challenge that many Node.js developers encounter, moving over 100,000 files efficiently. Our viewer is curious about the best approach to achieve this without compromising performance. The question at hand is about finding the fastest way to move a massive number of files, either synchronously or asynchronously, using Node.js. Our viewer has conducted tests comparing different looping methods and found that the core factor affecting performance is the file moving operation itself. Welcome back to another technical video. Today I'll be going through your question, answering it, and hopefully you find that solution that you need. Guys, remember to stay just a little bit crazy like me, and hopefully you get to that resolution. Now, let's continue on. In this video, we'll explore the performance of moving over 100,000 files in Node.js, comparing synchronous and asynchronous methods. First, let's look at the results of our tests. We found that using rename sync is about 20% slower than rename, but it uses significantly less CPU power. Given these results, you might wonder if it's better to use rename sync despite its slower speed. The answer depends on your specific needs. Now, let's take a look at the code used for these tests. We implemented both synchronous and asynchronous file moving functions. Finally, if you're looking for better performance, consider using batch processing or optimizing your file system operations. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. To optimize asynchronous performance in Node.js, consider creating a pool to limit concurrent operations. This approach helps you find the optimal number of async tasks to run simultaneously. I hope that video helped find the resolution you're looking for. If it did, guys, I'd appreciate it if you could hit subscribe. Until the next time that you need more technical help, I hope you have a good one. Cheers.